King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Nigerians call for INEC reform and it should be disbounded and the, the whole INEC should be reformed. Um, a lot of calls have come that they don't have the confidence in INEC whose works are very questionable to be the same set of people who should be conducting another election. And the call for the disbandment has continued to rise. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Nigerians call for reforming and total disbandment of INEC. Antony writes to the government and on behalf of Nigerians for the total reform or disbandment of the Independent National Electoral Commission due to biased performance and ungraded attitude personally during the 2023 election. Professor Yakub Mahmoud has not done the country a service of honor. There are so many things he has put out of place and today there are cases in court. Over the 2023 election, there was no transparency, honesty, and truth. And since things have gone viral and the facts and figures are all there, he promised to transmit election results electronically. This was totally ignored. Nigerian's electoral process now needs to be addressed for democracy to become a true word of what it is. We must look at the legitimate part and indications of professionalism in order to drive this nation in the right path. In case you missed it, there are so many things that have gone on unchecked. INEC was told that from the elections it conducted, 94% are currently in court. However, INEC chairman came to say only 74%, and Nigerians are wondering, is 74% a pass mark? What exactly do you mean by 74%? There are other systems in the country that need reform, but a system which gives the nation its direction in terms of political leaders, which call the shots and determine who is in what position to move the nation forward. INEC should totally, completely be disbanded or be reformed. INEC chairman has not lived up to his expectation. The country, first of all, should put a serious thing in place to ensure that every single one is looked upon. There are countries in the nations of the world that do not have as much as we do, and yet they conduct free, fair election. Since INEC was established in 1999, the results of elections have continued to be questionable, with many going to court, and even the court system has not proven to be 100% as people has felt cheated and the truth has not been seen. Many of these cases could have been avoided or prevented if and only if INEC has conducted election decently and in order like it should be. However, INEC chairman pride himself to have conducted the election because the current administration see nothing wrong in what he has done. Many have said he has not done he has not led the country in a way and manner that he should. However, this is what is going on now. INEC should completely be disbanded or be reformed. Otherwise, we don't know where the country is headed. You have spoken well. Honestly, sincerely, truly speaking, you have spoken well. You know, thanks for writing it on behalf of the country. However, we all just need to understand this, that the country does sincerely need a re-overhauling. The whole system, the whole system puts together. It's not just it's not just a calling for INEC reform. It's beyond just INEC reform. The government that we have in place, what do they say about INEC? Have they been helped by INEC? Because those are things that we must look upon, that we must pay attention to, and we must give real proper preeminence to understand if it is what it, what we are saying. If what we are saying is the same thing. INEC came on the back of. Uh, we're going to conduct an election. A lot of Nigerians believed, you know, put their hopes there, thinking that things will be done decently and in order. Little did we know that INEC was set to carry out what the, their own 
their own vision, their own state, you know, do their own thing. And one will wonder and say, oh, President Bola met in a meal after the election, you know, like late Maru Musa Radua, he was, he was humble enough to say that I know that the election that produced me was not a transparent one. He was humble enough to say those things. He came out and he gave a statement, if you remember very well, you know, of the election that produced him. However, this so this uh, very one that we are in, there is no cause for people saying the truth. Rather, what we see is lies upon lies and upon lies being paraded by people who should normally and truly, you know, be in jail, being investigated as a result of the roles they have played in bringing this nation to where it is right now. But sadly, most of them walk scot free, you know, and Nigerians are wondering what happened? Who did we offend? Why can't our nation just turn out right? We can we, we go out there, risk ourselves, conduct, you know, participate in an election, and at the end of the day, you know, people come out and call results that we did not, you know, result that we we, we know clearly was not the true result. How do you how do you how do you pacify such people? And how do you even encourage them to come out again and to vote in such an election? You see, so these are some of the things that have happened. A lot of confidence on INEC has been dwindled down. People don't no, no, people no longer trust the system. People see it, you know, as a system where it's for some people and um, they are doing all they possibly can, you know, for their own, for whatever they will get. And this is part of what is going on. So it is what it is. And it is important that every single person you know, begin to rise up and we do not allow the same thing over and over again. If we want to see this nation really transform, I want to see things better. You know, there's a lot already involved. And Nigerians, this is the time, these are the days where we, you know, we bring this nation, we bring things right in place to bring us into where we need to be. You know, there's a lot already involved. You know, is it I make is really sincerely disband or oh, there should be a reform the whole system re needs total reform. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. And so every single one of us must speak out accordingly and ensure that we do not allow the same thing to keep us down. The nation of the nation that we are in today, we sincerely truly needs, you know, a, a, a new a new face. Okay, not INEC representing us. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.